Mm. And grab the moldy one. Mm. Welcome back to Q Dads. It's me, Ben, and yes, today I am bringing you my thoughts and theories of one of the greatest upcoming TV series yet, Fallout. That's right, Amazon Prime has finally dropped a real festive treat for me. Now, I love the Fallout franchise and I've now finally got a trailer to watch over and over again. I'm going to break this down for you, but more importantly, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the series and where I feel it's heading, plus some of the things that they must include. The trailer starts with an intense opening of Vault 33, which has Lucy, played by Ella Purnell, exiting the vault for the first time, recreating it as if it happens in the game. Now, I fully expect them to follow the path of the game. And what I mean by that is the fact that we'll start in the vault, introduced to a few characters, maybe even some hints towards Lucy's perks. And I don't think we'll actually see the opening of the vault until the end of episode one. We then hit with the trustworthiness voice of Lost Benjamin Linus, played by Michael Emerson, who advises Lucy to go home as he doesn't feel she has what it takes to survive. Then BAM! We get our very first Rad Roach. And I must say, this looks epic. This whole opening scene with a desolate landscape is breathtaking. Am I biased? Yeah, probably. But you know what? I don't care. We're then shown a dog, or possibly dog meat. Now I say this as they did recently confirm that the series is Fallout game canon. So, could this mean that we've got the backstory to dog meat? little companion that we all know and love from Fallout 4. More likely, it's just a different version of dog meat altogether. Either way, the introduction of a dog is brutal in this series, especially with a later clip of the dog with a severed hand in its mouth. We get a clip of several vertibirds taking off, a glimpse of Maximus, Aaron Moton's character, before we get a look at not one, but five power armors walking side by side. This scene is just brilliant, and I must admit, it looks epic. And I hope that we see our main character get some kind of power armor suit in this series. Even if a worn down version. But you know, we need one. We get shots of the chaos unfolding in a vault. And if you look closely, this is confirmed as Vault 33. Is this after Lucy's departure or before? Maybe the reason for her leaving? Moving on, we're introduced to Walter Goggins in his first true ghoul form. Currently credited as The Ghoul. He's going to play this character so well. And for me, it's like there was no other actor choice other than Walter to play the ghoul. It's interesting here though, that we see him pull off a headshot of some sorts. Now, does this show how good he is as a shooter? Or is this some form of him using vats? Now, I hope they do incorporate a little thing like vats, or even a vault boy in the style of Loki's Miss Minutes. That would be great to see. We're then shown a Cyclops looking vault dweller. Now, I presume this is to show the level of radiation and the effects that it has on people. It's a nice touch. Now, apparently, this vault dweller here is actually from a different vault. Now, has this one been open for a lot longer, hence the radiation? And why would Lucy be visiting this different vault? We then get several shots. Turrets firing at dog meat, a Mr. Handy wheeling someone around, some kind of Brotherhood of Steel battle, and a yoguai devouring someone. We actually see another creature, which I think is a gulper newt, but this may be a new creature. The show has confirmed that new creatures will be in the series that have not yet been shown in the Fallout verse. We get more mutated dwellers, or well, actually this one might just be injured from battle. But anyway, we then get a pre-ghoul phase of Walter Goggins. Does this mean that we'll have flashbacks pre-nuke? And what's his importance to the show? What did he used to be before he went all ghoul on us? We then end the trailer with several nukes, one by one, creating our beloved Fallout landscape. Now the trailer, in my opinion, was fantastic. So much to discuss and talk about. And of course, me and Steve will be covering this in April with weekly reviews and even a cast as well. But now, I'm not any kind of lore hoarder of the game but i do love the fallout series the fact this trailer includes so many game details like mutated dwellers i do wonder what else we'll be seeing will we be seeing things like the perks that people choose the use of vats is must needed i think and even how the interaction with pit boy will be we do see several pit boys in this trailer so the chances of us getting a more in-depth look is pretty high 
What is Lucy's reason for exiting the vault as well? Where will she end up? And I presume she'll be teaming up with the ghoul and become almost allies. Now an interesting thing here on the ghoul, although we've been shown clips of what I'm calling Dogmeat, but I don't actually think that Michael Emerson's character is the owner of Dogmeat. There's a small scene where we see Dogmeat running with someone in a lab coat away from turrets. I don't think that's a scientist. I think that is Walter Goggins. I'm going to put my hands down now and say Walter Goggins' character, the ghoul, is in fact working with Dogmeat. Now we've been introduced to some other creatures already in this trailer and probably a lot more to come as well. But will we see a Deathclaw or even a Super Mutant? Now, even if you're not a game fan, I think you'll enjoy the series. Now, I'm off to go and rewatch this several more times and try and bring you some further hidden details and try and break down certain characters' timelines. Let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to in this series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time with something new. Take care.